right here I might put the buttons on this keyframe since it cuts across the whole thing and that sounds like a good idea so on this keyframe right here titles and not sure what it's called I'll unlock it right there it is it's got the title there it's a good place for the button so what we can do is we can get the rectangle tool here I'll make curved edges here for it so let's see here rectangle tool and what do I want I want to draw this come on rectangle tool and I'll just draw it anyway so let's just draw it I'll draw a button one here and now I've got the rectangle tool yes I wanted curved edges 33 hit enter and let's try that again there we go and text color white video 2 there we are and that looks good and then I'll delete this get that rectangle tool back again and we'll draw well actually it better to copy and paste let's just copy and paste this whole thing shift select so now I've select everything copy paste all right that looks good and change that to video one all right and what we need to do now is convert these into buttons so I'll double click here hold down the shift key select here and then modify convert to symbol BTN V1 click OK and the same thing here double click hold down the shift key select to add that selection to it and modify convert to symbol and BTN 2 V2 and click OK now I have two buttons but what I also need to do is and of course it did not go on to the frame that I wanted these to go on I wanted to go on this frame right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take both of these guys shift select both buttons and do an edit cut and then right here edit paste in place so now they've been pasted on this keyframe and that way they'll exist all the way over so now when we jump to the next video you can see that the buttons will still be there we go to video 2 same buttons are still there so that's what I wanted so I'm going to take this back to the main keyframe where these buttons first appear and we need to give them a name so I will select the first button and I will call it instance name in the property window vid1 hit enter select the second one vid2 and hit enter right and so all we need now is the code for these two buttons to jump us to these two frames for that I'm just gonna copy and paste the code from my other movie so I go to my other flash movie and find the code here it is I'm gonna copy it and paste it right in here so we'll just paste it. You can see that it's already set to go. Vid1, Vid2, these are the buttons. We add an event listener, a mouse event, a click, and we're going to go to the function go to v1 and the function go to v2. And here are the two functions. Go to v1 will take us to the frame label v1, and go to v2 will take us to the frame label v2 notice that I stop all sounds here and that's probably because if you jump from one video to the other the sound from the first video probably kept playing and um, disturbed the second video so I needed to put that in there but it looks like this should work as long as your buttons are named instance names vid1 and vid2 and your frame labels are v1 and v2 
and let's just double check that's V1 that's V2 and the buttons are correct so this should work so we'll hit control enter and we'll go to video click on video 1 and go to video 2 and so that works the only other thing that I could do is I could also put stop actions up here if I wanted to control and make sure to stop the frame but as you can see in our action script it says go to and stop on v2 and go to and stop on v1 so it didn't quite it doesn't need the stop actions on those keyframes but anyway that's one way to integrate video into your flash website this is one of the easiest ways possible is just to drop the flash video component on the keyframe where you need it and then in the settings and the component parameters to attach a video file to it